if you are into designing, then you might have heard about RGB and CMYK, the two different color modes that you can use while you're designing. So what are these actually? So let's talk about RGB. So RGB stands for red, green and blue and it is a pixel uh, which is actually displayed in screens. So whatever is displayed, that's RGB. And CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow and black which are the colors used for printing. So whatever print media that you see like magazines or newspapers, they, are, they all use CMYK. So what you do is that according to uh, the type of color profile you choose, uh, the design turns out to be different. For example, like if you design using RGB, you get a choice of much brighter colors as uh, you have brighter color choices for screen designs. However, if you choose CMYK as an option in your design, then that means that you get a bit of a darker tone of colors because in print you cannot really see uh, the bright set of colors right over here. So these are the settings which are um, selectable in almost all of the graphic design applications such as Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign and so forth. So to understand more about how the CMYK and RGB color scheme work and to uh, understand how the color codes work out Let's head over onto the computer screen and we'll uh, explore that in detail. So here you can see three different color of lights. That is red, green and blue respectively. So what you can do over here is you can combine these lights right here. So these are the RGB uh, light colors, so red, green and blue. These are the exact color that any screen has so red green and blue so if you were to mix up these lights so let's say for example if you were to mix the red light over here along with the green light then you get yellow in between as you can see so if i were to sign both of the lights uh, together you can see that you get yellow so now if i were to again now mix the green with blue then you get sign just like this as you can see so i can just move it back just like that if I were to go around here and mix green and red, you get yellow again and mix blue and red, you get magenta. So once you mix all of them together on the center, you get white. This is how your computer screen actually works out. This is how your computer screen works out. So now over here, you can see that there's yellow, there's red and green. But if I were to dim out the green, for example, if I were to bring down the intensity of green, you start getting orange. So that's how you get different shades of colors. So you can go over here, uh, change the shade of the blue, then you start getting different colors over here. Then you go over here, st start changing the shade of red, you start getting different color, just like that. So the combination of three lights gives birth to different kind of colors right over there. So what you, what you re are really working with when you are working with different colors on a computer monitor is that you are controlling the intensity of each of these pixels right over here. So now let's move on into CMYK. So in CMYK, that is cyan, magenta, yellow and black, there are four colors and these are the colors used in printers. So these are the four inks which are actually stored in. So if you were to combine all of this, so let's just go over here onto the sign and this work like multiplier. So as I add an ink, uh, it actually darkens more. So if I were to mix in cyan and magenta, you can see that you get the blue color right over here. And if I were to mix the cyan and yellow color, then you start getting green right over here, as you can see. So if I were to go over here and select the magenta color, then if I were to go over here onto uh, the sign, of course, you get the blue over here on the yellow side. Like if I were to mix magenta and yellow, you start getting red, as you can see, just like that. If I were to go over to yellow, over here, you start getting the green and red. And if I were to mix all of the colors, you can see that you get black. But in real printing scenario, what happens is that using color, color ink to uh, print black and white, uh, now, black and white image is not very economical. So what we do is that we add in an extra color black. So whenever we have to print black, we don't use the colors right over here, but we use the black itself. So that's why it's the key color 
are the that, that's why it's the key color in the four colors right over here so these four colors are actually used up and similar to how it works in rgb the difference in brightness of the level of the print the different colors you get over there so you can decrease the uh, decrease the like, intensity of the color for each of the ranges and you start getting different ranges of colors for example if you bring down yellow you can see that you start getting a bit of a pink color when mixed with magenta right over here so that's how all the color combinations work out so all of these again work on the basis of the hexadecimal codes and let's see uh, how that works now so now over here i'm in the color picker panel in photoshop so if you've used photoshop then you'll be familiar with this part right here even if you're not familiar with it no problem we just go through the process i'm doing and you'll understand the colors so you can see over here that i got six zero digits that that represents black so over here like there's no lights turning up right over here so this is a hexadecimal value so the first two digit, digit right over here represents red the second two digit right over here represents green and the last two digit represents blue so let's try that out if i were to press ff which is the maximum value of hexadecimal uh unit i'm going to press in ff for maximum amount of red 0, 0, 4, 0 amount of green and 0, 0, 4, 0 amount of uh, blue so once i do that you can see that red color appears over here let's do the same over here 0, 0 for red ff for green and 0, 0 for blue and you get the green color let's do the same 0, 0, 0, 0. so that means no red color or no green color but for blue color right over here so that's ff if you were to decrease its value for example if i were to go over here and type in 77 which is a mid-range value you can see that you start getting a bit of faded blue that is dark blue right over here you're gonna mix up colors let's say you want to mix up red and green you, you should get yellow so if i'm going to press ff which is red ff which is green and zero zero for blue and you start getting uh start uh, getting yellow as you can see right here so red is ff if i were to go over here and type in seven seven in between you start getting orange that is because now the value of green is lesser and the red is higher just like that so if you were to use color picker right over here that is what is happening when you see these numbers right around here those are the hexadecimal values of the, that particular color so and this works for rzb so let, let us just get back into zero zero right over here so there's other ways to work around with that as well there's rzb value over here as well this is hexadecimal while this is decimal value so if you were to press 255 that is same as pressing ff over here so 255 over there for red 255 for green over here and if i were to do 255 on blue right over here you can see that you get blue right over there so now if i were to do this and if i were to work around with this for example like i want to mix out red and green so i'm going to do f not ff sorry i'm going to do 255 right over there and 255 over here you can start seeing yellow i do 100 over here you start getting orange by mixing up the colors right over here and besides this you even get the cmyk values as you can see right here so magenta and yellow makes this color so i can actually go over here and scrub around and the percentage of ink that you can see changes the color output right here so i can increase the black right over here so if i were to do something like a hundred percent black zero 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 you can see that there's black color right over here just like that so it's a bit of a faded black as you can see so i can actually add in a bit of a color right over here and you start getting total black just like that you can also have zero right over there you start getting gray you change the value right over here so let's say i want to add a full yellow color increase this value you start getting yellow color right here you add in magenta you start getting red right over there you add in sign and start becoming a bit brown it's just like that so this is how the color combination actually works in all of the applications and in printers and is something that you should know if you are going into the field of designing so that is how the color combination actually works out 
And that's how Aussie B and CMYK colors work out. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.